So this is Hartill near Rotherham and Ineos are planning a fracking site. Fracking is basically breaking the rock in the Earth's crust and trying to get gas out of it. Sounds bad, doesn't it? And you don't need to be a canary in a coal mine to know that doing this in an old mining area like South Yorkshire might not be the best idea. Fracking could mean hundreds of wells across the countryside, poisoned water and real traffic problems. And it's so unnecessary. Renewable energy like solar panels, wind farms and heat pumps have progressed hugely in the last 10 years. So say no to fracking. Vote Greens first on May the 3rd. So I'm at Wales near Rotherham and this is where HS2 is going to plough through part of South Yorkshire. Where we are standing is virtually in the middle of where the rail track's going through. It's going to go through this garden, across there, up through there, take out those three or four bungalows on the end there and of course these will have to go as well because they'll be too near the track and of course the infrastructure that's then required to build the railway through here. I've lived here 38 years, I've put a lot of time and money into my property and I'll be absolutely distraught if I have to go. But at the moment, I don't know. Yeah. Well, we're not getting enough information from HS2 to say, yes, you will be going and the timing will be X, Y and Z or how much are you going to give me for my property or anything. So right. it's very much in the air all the time. So if it does go ahead, do you think it, it's going to be worthwhile? Well, I've studied quite heavily all the arguments for HS2, and I haven't been convinced yet that it's going to bring enough to the North in terms of prosperity, new jobs, new businesses. Um, and I still think, even though it will be there, there will still be this North-South divide. And if it is going to happen, and it does come to the north, I can see most of it going to the northwest and not to the northeast. So what's needed here is local rail improvements, new railway stations, and better fresh Spenheim routes. What's planned is a South Yorkshire bypass, trashing homes and communities. HS2 is kind of a symbol of what's wrong in South Yorkshire. It's hugely expensive. It doesn't keep the people what they want and local Labour councils are too busy fighting each other to stand up for local residents. South Yorkshire needs change, so please vote for me, Rob Murphy, first on May the 3rd. I'm here in Rotherham Town Centre uh, with Rob Murphy, Green Party candidate for Sheffield City Region Mayor. Now Rob, Rotherham's become synonymous with um, scandal over uh, the last two or three years, um, particularly around the child sexual exploitation uh, and everything to do with that. Um, uh, what do you think would help that situation from a political standpoint? Well, I, th I think the big thing that's missing in South Yorkshire is proper scrutiny of what the decision makers are doing. So. Uh, you've had your problems in, in Rotherham about uh, a council that's been in power too long and been comfortable in that position. Mm -hmm. uh, Doncaster a few years before had Donnygate and all the problems that were associated with the corruption there. Yeah. And Sheffield has things like the PFI where the council's doing whatever it wants and ignoring the wishes of the people. So I think it's something that's happening across South Yorkshire and, and scrutiny and, and a different voices in, in the positions that, where the decisions are being made is the vital thing. Yeah. So what do you think you could do as Mayor of Sheffield City Region to challenge that and to change that culture? Well first of all I wouldn't be in the Labour Party so I've got no baggage that goes with it. I think there's a, a real problem with Labour in, in, when it's in power for a long time covering up mistakes. So I, I, I want to bring, I want to shine a light on the decision making that's going on in the city region and making sure that everybody knows how those decisions are made, real transparency, real openness and, and uncovering what, what's going on in, in, in the town halls around, around South Yorkshire. Yeah. So one of the things I want to do is obviously uh, broadcast meetings, make sure the meetings are recorded, they're on the internet 
Um, I want to have proper scrutiny of the mayor, so I want a scrutiny board for the mayor made up on a proportional basis, so it's not like first past the post is only one party scrutinising itself, which is what happens in South Yorkshire at the moment. It's all parties scrutinising what, what the decision makers are doing. Yeah. And while we're here in Rotherham Town Centre, um, it probably won't have escaped you notice that, um, that there's a, um, a, a real issue with occupancy rate around the uh, local shopping centre. What do you think you could do as Mayor to, um, uh, to, to really tackle the issues around Rotherham's economy and really stimulate Rotherham's economy? Well, if we're talking about town centres, it's Rotherham Town Centre with empty shops is the same as Doncaster Town Centre with a lot of empty shops and Sheffield Town Centre with a lot of empty shops. What we've tried to do in Sheffield is, is bring in small businesses and local businesses into those shops rather than relying on big investment and big business from out of town, which is a bit of a cutthroat business, is, is encouraging local businesses, people people that live and work in the area to open up their own shops and their own small businesses in the area, keep that money circulating around the economy rather than having it dragged out to shareholders and chief executives and all that sort of thing. Uh, keeping that money circulating around the local economy and, and letting the, build, the economy build up gradually from the grassroots. So that's what we'd want to do. Um, it's the same with sort of Sheff Sheffield City Region's got huge skills and experience in, in engineering and, and, and things like that. So we want to be encouraging the small firms that, that are the innovators really yeah. and encouraging them, investing in them, using the money coming down from government to train people up so that they, they can work in these small businesses, making sure that the money's going in the right direction rather than being siphoned off by big business or away from the region as, as has been in the past. Yeah. And you touch on obviously that Rotherham, just like Sheffield, is really built on uh, its engineering uh, abilities and everything like that. Bearing in mind that we've got Advanced Manufacturing Park within Rotherham, um, what, what do you think you could do there as well in terms of uh, growing the economy for South Yorkshire more widely? Well I think there's, there's a real opportunity. The world's changing uh, incredibly fast and, and green technologies are coming through. Uh, the, the fossil fuel industry is pretty much on its way out, the nuclear industry is on its way out, so we have to be looking at these new technologies, especially with energy, um, green energy. Uh, I think the, the, the manufacturing park has ITM power. It's a, it's a, uh, they, they invested in, in, in bringing hydrogen power into, into vehicles, hydrogen power into energy storage, and they're a real cutting edge co company that, that we, sh we should be supporting as much as we possibly can. So yeah. sort of investing in those new sort of innovative new technologies, the environmentally friendly technologies that, that we're all talking about. We're all talking about how we cut out plastics. Well, S South Yorkshire has been a world leader in, in glass in yeah. days gone by and there's no reason why that can't happen again. Yeah. Now I know Rob that if you became mayor, that you'd also have um, powers over local transport, public transport. Um, wh what's your thoughts on that? Um, because obviously that really goes hand in hand with stimulating uh, South Yorkshire's economy. Um, obviously some of, some of the outlying areas of Rotherham, just like other places in South Yorkshire, isn't served very well by public transport at the moment. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, the bus service has been in decline for 30 years. It's, it's been a real shame that, that, that an area which we used to be so proud of its bus service is, is, is struggling with, with buses being cut, uh, prices going up, and, and people being left with unreliable bus services. So one of the main powers that the mayor's going to have is franchising of bus services, which means we can drag back control of our bus services from the, from the companies that, that just want to make money out of it. They're not interested in running public service. They just want to maximise their profits. So we want to drag powers back to a mayor and, 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 and an accountable body, accountable to the public through the ballot box, yeah. and, and, and bring cheap affairs, bring uh, public control over routes and frequencies, and, and, and more reliability on the bus services. So it's something where we want to take the control back and, and give the public back their service. Thank you, Rob Murphy. So this has been from Rob Murphy, Green Party candidate for Sheffield City Region Mayor.